In this video, I'm just having a discussion with you about boxing fitness and why this is such a phenomenal workout. Aaron Robinette Personal Training. Enhance your life. So when we look at the different aspects you have within boxing fitness, you have strength, you have cardio. This is the probably the best HIT workout. So HIT is H-I-I-T, which is high intensity interval training. It's the, one of the original ones, and I feel one of the best ones. It also gives you a, a phenomenal abdominal workout. There's so many different components to this. This also connects your body, so from your feet all the way up to your hands, to your head, everything, in a way most other workouts don't do. You really are hard pressed to find other workouts that connect your body that way. So over the years, I have found a lot of people I pulled in and I've done half hour sessions back when I was doing simply half hour sessions. So I pull people that would do like um, spin classes three days a week. And if you've ever taken a spin class, that is a phenomenal workout. That gets you really in shape. But I would take them into a half hour boxing workout and within less than five minutes, usually about two or three minutes, two or three different combinations, they'd be huffing and puffing and they would look at me and say, I thought I was in good shape. And it's not that they weren't in good shape, it's just a different type of shape. And the, the big, one of the big key differences is spin is a lot of lower body, a little bit of upper body, a lot of cardio, but that's kind of it. And again, if you want to get in good shape, that's one way to do it. But with boxing, you're working your entire body in almost every combination. So simply with a jab, it's not here. It's not just arm and shoulder and all that. You're actually throwing with your whole body. So if you notice the difference between this and that, my feet have to turn, my hips, my hips really drive the whole thing, my core has to connect my upper and lower body together, all for that one jab. And when I'm having someone do combinations, they're not just throwing jabs. They're throwing jabs, crosses, hooks, uppercuts, all sorts of different punches and especially when we get into the more complex punches so the jabs and crosses are a little bit more simple but with a hook and uppercuts those you really have to drive from your legs you have to use your core everything to drive so really quick i have people use um, i hit the target mitt so i'm holding the target mitts in different positions and when they're throwing they're hitting the target mitts they're having to really drive, and I don't let them swing their arm like that. Really get down, okay, you gotta use your legs, you gotta drive from here. No arm swing when, you start begin, when you're a beginner, and you can add a little bit of an arm swing later on when you really have the form and technique. And it really forces you as a participant to really get your whole body engaged. So it's another aspect that really is beneficial for boxing fitness. So the other thing I really want you to do is you, if you have any interest or even the curiosity, do this right now, sign up for your complimentary consultation with me, and let's have a discussion and talk about all the different aspects of boxing fitness, and let's find out what your goals and everything that you're trying to achieve, if boxing fitness is the right choice for you.